morning, everybody. Welcome back to Uncle Ali. My name's Ali A. Uh, that crit. Uh, he sounds like that. Uh, uh, we're back to playing Mario Kart because I feel like it. Um, what is it? Mario Kart. Running on your man because I feel like it. That's from Evie Oddly's <laughs> uh, song. Bitch, I'm hype. That's hype, a good hype. idea. Um, How are you? Hype. Name this episode. <laughs> I'm okay. How are you? I'm I'm very like looking towards the future. I'm going through a transformative period again, which is great, but also like they always say when you're transforming, it's like a lot. It's a lot of emotion. It's a lot of intensity. It's a lot of feeling like ah, you know. Yeah. But I'm getting through it. Um, thank you for always helping me. I I want to take this channel beyond, you know. And on top of that, welcome to my new subscribers. We're up for. That's great. That made me feel good. The review got 22 views. That's really amazing for my current content. So Yay. I greatly appreciate everybody who's so <gasps> supporting it. You stole my shit. Oh, I'm such a bitch. Yeah, you are. Um, thank you. Anyway, I'm, I'm excited to keep growing the content, keep growing the platform, and, you know, appreciate every single person regardless of anything just appreciate the views appreciate the likes uh don't forget to like comment and subscribe um and you know what while you're at it just fall in love with me just do it oh just get just do it get it over with you will it's only a matter of time it took me a long time and i should have done it sooner exactly that's the review that was that he left on my page he was like we'll fall in love with her just do it should have done it sooner. Don't resist it. Wish I had done this sooner. Great experience all around. Yeah. <laughs> you have a very high Five rating. out of ten. <laughs> She's all right. I love those comments. Or not comments. Uh, the reviews where people don't understand the review system. It's like some older person that's like, best food I ever had. One star. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Does that happen? That's yes. Hilarious. I love when they answer back too. Like the, They'll the be place. like, hi, I love that you feel that way. Can you please change the stars to reflect that? <laughs> and then they don't know how to do it. Oh, my God. It's hilarious. <laughs> I'm not doing the best. Oh, never mind. You're doing far worse, so I should not talk. Yeah, what the fuck? Any, anything else you want to say about your moods and how you do doing? But I'm excited. Um... I'm excited. I'm going to I'm gonna leave it at that because I have so much to say, but so little brain to say it with. <laughs> <Yeah. gasps> Did I just win because he just got blue shelled? Oh my god! I blue shelled him. Thank you so much. I tried so hard to like stay on the sideline so I wouldn't get hit with the bomb aspect yeah, yeah. of it. Who came in first. Anyway, nice. continue. That's awesome. With the assist. Thanks, babe. Of course. How are you? Always proud of this one. I'm also going through a transformative <laughs> period. Do you think that... You got anything to do with the the new the moon or something? Oh, tomorrow's a new moon. Monday's a new moon, and I think it's a, it's some uh, long-term goal energy manifest for your long-term goals. That's I think what one of the people I follow on TikTok religiously. Um, that's what she said. I love her. She's so great. Um, I'll put her her handle in the description if you're interested. I just well, don't remember it even to to say it right now. Your brain is toast. <laughs> My brain is not toast. You said you said you couldn't talk because you, you're confused, and then you said you don't remember this person. I'm either. confused? I don't know. No, I'm I feel like you're confused, my dude. Yeah, I think I am. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just don't remember people's ats. No, that's fair. I don't either, ever. You don't remember anything. When's yeah. my birthday, Chris? What do you mean? December 27th, 1997. 1997. Thank you. It's not. It's because you're old. Thank you. 1965. Ha. Old geese. As me. Aw. Uh. They call me Louise the Geese. <laughs> the other name of this Louise episode. Louise the Geese. Louise the Geese. That's what they call me. Woo. Thank you all for getting blown up. That was very nice. Okay, never mind. Everybody's came back fairly oh, quickly. Except me. I hit well in the snow. Oh my god. This is redonkulous. <laughs> You're redonkulous. Thank you. 
So are you. I went to Disneyland today just for myself. It was nice. And I came home. Yeah, it was nice to be alone. Um, our friend Shane is now in his apartment while we miss him. You know, I feel like it's always nice to just have your own space. Like, both both the, uh, we did and Shane were just like, we love each other and we could live together forever, but it's just something magical about, like, having your own space. I feel like if we had, like, a two-bedroom, it'd be a lot easier because then, you know, he, I hope, wouldn't feel like... You know, like he was in our living room. Right. Which feels very differently than like... <gasps> I hate Whoa. Toad and came in second. That's wild. Oh, I'm so sorry, Toad. Um, but there's like a certain like comfort and just privacy of having your own room. And like sleeping on people's couches, like... Like I was fine with it. He could have lived here forever. But also <laughs> like I'm sure he wanted his own privacy in his own room and just... Be able to, like, de-stress without any external stimuli Mm -hmm. because you have your own room. It's just something about having your own space. And while I hope he still felt at home here and very welcome here, I get it. And Yeah, I I would want the same. And, and, you know, Chris and I kind of just, like, super chill. So to have people around, I always kind of feel like I have to entertain, which, like, not at all did I have to. But there's always that, like, sense in me of, like, well, I gotta just like. <gasps> what the? Fucking is this link. like Rainbow Road? I think it is a form of Rainbow Road. Jesus. Of like always being a little on, you know? Yeah. Not that I felt at all like he would have cared or that I was putting on a performance. Am I explaining this right? It's, I loved having Shane it's here. Yeah, it's just normal. And but there's always something about having your own space on both sides. However, I hope he knows, and we totally meant it, that he could have lived here forever. Of course. And we would have loved it. We would have got a two-bedroom, too. Yeah. Fuck all y'all. Uh, Chris and I have been um, partaking in the wed a little more and it's been very nice i haven't felt anxious we did uh some some wed with shane what i I just got dicked oh okay and and it's been nice and we and we did a little bit today because i was feeling very anxious and it was so nice it like quieted all the thoughts in my head and that doesn't happen very often for me so that's awesome it literally hasn't done anything for me both times but but you inhaled much more this time yeah, but it just like, it doesn't affect me. I'm immune. That's a lie. That's what it feels like. Oh my god, I keep falling off. It's so annoying. I guess I just need to do more or whatever. Huh? Yeah, you don't do much and you don't hold it for very long. Yeah. Oh my god. Jesus. I had a low battery. My battery is low. No, I'm getting past. I'm getting past. I'm getting past. I don't want to get me past. Oh, where the fuck did you come from? What the fuck? Woo! Where the fuck did you come from? I just saw you across the map. The uh, fuck was uh, that? I bounced and stuff. That was wild. Now I'm on. <laughs> oh my god. Did we talk about how much we love Encanto yet? <gasps> We're obsessed. It has a hold on me. I usually am not like a go with the trend type of person. Like I didn't watch Frozen until like a year or two after, and that was by force in my religion class. My dude. And Ganto has a hold on me. So first of all, cried within the first two minutes when Tiny Mirabel comes on stage because oh, it's just. You never realize how important it is for representation until it happens. Remember, how, I, I know I talked about uh, the Casa Grandes and how I felt like, yeah. oh my God, there's a, a children's cartoon about a family that's, you know, like a lot of families in my culture and families I grew up with in my family. Right. And this one hit another level because Tiny Little Mirabel looks like a darker version of Little Me. Like to see a girl with a, a round face and curly hair who's Hispanic, like I could not handle it, cried immediately. 
And I I feel like, you know, there's been there's still so many race issues and, and mis and lack of representation and stereotype only plays sort of on, on race and stuff, but I just feel like Hispanic representation is very very rare more so than any other representation and I think it's because we kind of like all my life I've just felt like I am not black to understand those struggles and I'm not white to have a insane amount of privilege you know mm-hmm. so I've always felt this like in between and I never it, I feel like it never gets brought up like we don't at least I, I don't think so but I feel we don't hear a lot about a lack of representation in the Latino community except from other Hispanics and stuff, you know? Yeah. I feel like there's no, like, fight for that. And, like, I have a whole big issue of problems I have. (laughs) I can't believe that. Um, Anyway, I have a whole slew of, like, things that I feel like are wrong with the lack of representation. Why? But I won't get into it too much. But it was just so... I felt so light and so great, fe- like seeing that and seeing that representation, and it meant like so much to me, so much more than Aww. I thought it would. And the whole movie just like hit me. And I just, I love, I love Hispanics. They're the best. I can confirm. So anyway, other than that, that movie was perfectly written. The music is amazing. It's just. It's like my favorite movie in a very, very long so time. It's so good. It's so good. I'm gonna watch it right now. We're gonna watch it. We cannot. But we are. We're not. Oh my god. We're not gonna do it. <laughs> no. I think I sabotaged you by winning so much that you. You lost. did. I would have won. <laughs> I'm sorry. But I got so the trophy. It's the cutest trophy. Oh my god. Have we never gotten? No, this we've trophy? never gotten it. It's so cute. I'm obsessed. All right. That well, was so cute. I felt like you teared up a little bit. I Maybe don't think I did. Well, you're so sweet. I love you, and I mean like that. Yeah. I love you. <laughs> Sorry. Anyway, watch Encanto if you haven't. Um, mm-hmm. If you have. Luisa, I... I'm very comfortable in my sexuality as a bisexual. I've known this for a while. I had a sexual reawakening with her. Same sexuality, just a reawakening. I don't know... Once she went on screen, I was like, something about, like, a buff woman? Lost it. I lose it every time. Every time surface pressure's on, lose it. Ugh. Ugh. And then, the voice actor? (laughs) Perfect fit. If they're looking for a girlfriend, let me know. I am 5'2 and in love with you. (laughs) I, I love that. You should five two in love with you. you should copyright that. It's copyrighted. Sorry, I was thinking about the movie. <laughs> uh, anyway, <laughs> thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Go watch Encanto. Go like this. Go subscribe to me and Park Swap. Why not? Oh wow! Um, comment on all of the things. Uh, thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Good day, happy birthday, and then bye. No, don't. <laughs> it's discolored underneath. No, it's not. Yes, it is. It's dark and gray. It's I don't okay. know why. It's stained. Good day, happy birthday. Love you. Bye. Bye, everybody. <laughs> I'll try to be cute. What were we doing? Oh, like I won? Yeah. Aww.